it's crazy when people i'm seeing people on twitter being like who is taylor swift to endorse somebody it's like y'all endorse a criminal my nigga y'all endorse a gang member donald trump is a gang member criminal it's just the truth donald trump is a gang member how y'all finna you got a white girl who make music for a living and you got a gang member like donald trump are y'all telling me trump he could be president, but Taylor Swift can't endorse somebody. Make that make sense. Requires uh, the election board in Georgia is now requiring ballots to be hand counted. Hand counted, bro. Mind y'all, these are the same people who say black people and brown people are going to take America, you know, to the third world. They want to hand count ballots like it's not 2024. That's what we're dealing with. I swear to God, MAGA wants to take us back to the 1800s. They want women to know their place. They want black people to find a new place, aka Africa. They want everyone else to get the F out. These people want to take us back to the 1800s. I swear to God. Counting ballots by hand? For Why are we pretending like MAGA has the cognitive ability to count? Trump can't count. MAGA for damn sure can't count. What they bought these niggas, they can't do math. Bro, you believe these niggas could count this shit? I don't, bro, I'm not buying this shit. I'm not buying the idea. I'm not entertaining the idea that MAGA can count ballots. Jokes aside, obviously, this is so they can, this is to give themselves the plausible deniability or at least the, the, the guise of legitimacy when they eventually deny the results of the election well we hand counted them and we saw some things we didn't like if the machine counts it you can re can re you can recount 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 with the machine you can't recount 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 with people that's what we're dealing with here like this is this is what we're dealing with here is People who want to convince you they have the mathematical ability to count that many ballots in Georgia. Millions, or as Trump would say, millions, they want you to believe they can count millions. They most certainly cannot. They can't. So let's read this article. Allies of former President Donald Trump who control the Georgia State Election Board, approved a controversial new rule Friday requiring counties to hand count the number of ballots cast at polling places on Election Day, despite bipartisan objections from election officials and poll workers. This is what happens when you recruit momos. These people, and shout out to all the old folks out there, but these folk are just delusional. And age has something to do with it, okay? Donald Trump has an army of just, like, geriatrics willing to do his will at every turn. And I need the old folks who know the truth. Like, bro, because let's not pretend like old people don't know what's going on. Old people are in the loop. They know how to properly conduct an election way better than I ever could. But Donald Trump utilizes older people who are mostly ignorant of how this shit works he utilizes their ignorance to convince them that if they just hand count it, they can somehow have an accurate ele uh, election. Like, what the fuck? Like, what are we talking about, bro? What are we talking about? Like, it's just like, you know what? Actually, fuck this old people shit. I think Donald Trump could get Gen Zers to buy some bullshit about counting. This is not even, this is MACA. This isn't even old people. Obviously, he receives a lot of support from older demographics. But this, he could 100% convince Zoomers to be one, two, three. They can't go beyond three. But he could do that. That's how corrupted the movement is. And the crazy part about it is people on both sides are telling them, great people, fine people on both sides, by the way, are telling them, don't do this shit. Don't count this shit by hand. Count this shit with the machine. Please don't do this. They are resolute to count it by hand. Not because there actually was like fraud last time, but because Trump said there was fraud. They're going to hold up the election for as long as they can. Joe Biden, if you're listening, please lock these people up. Lock them up. 
Joe Biden, send, send SEAL Team 20. I don't care who the fuck you summon. Send somebody to lock these folk up, please. Dog the bounty. Is he a Trump supporter? Dog the bounty. Send, send some form of enforcement down on these on these people. Hand counting the ballots. We ain't gonna know who the president is until 2025. One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three, four. By like 50, your brain gonna start going a different. Chick-fil-A, bad or whatever you're into. By the time you're on like the 60th ballot, you not in your right mind. You thinking about other shit. You can't count effectively. Who the bruh? Who you know can count, bro. You can't count 90 ballots without your brain kind of like going in a different direction. You know what I'm saying? You thinking about what you about to eat for dinner. You know, you you thinking about, you know, going home to the wifey or to the husband, to the kids. Like, by the time you get to 100, you're not, you're not all the way there. How many people they got to hire to count millions, bro? Like, you would have to do it logistically. A certain amount of people, like, a person can only count a certain amount of votes. You can't have one person counting, like, no. Or you would have to divvy it up and, like, okay, you can only count X amount of ballots within, like, this a lot of time. So you can only count a hundred ballot <laughs> voice crack. You can only count a certain amount of ballots within like two hours. Cause by the time you get to like a hundred, you for you about to forget. I would forget. I'm not even about to sit here pretend like, oh look, I can count. But bro, I can't count above like a hundred ballots, bro. At some point, I'm thinking about hoes. I'm thinking about money. I'm thinking about food. I don't, bro. I can't be sitting here counting this. And I'm gonna be stressing about Trump. I can't be stressing about Trump, counting ballots, thinking about food, thinking about, you know, like other stuff. Bro, they already banned water and food and polling station. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, they're just evil. They're evil, bro. The, every, rep bro, from this moment forward, if you are a Republican politician, you need to take your, like, picture like this. You need to be rubbing your hands like you up to no good. None of that, like, smiling in the camera with the American. No, you need to be like this. Just so we know what you about. Because everybody, like, bro, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, you need to be at an angle. You can't do it looking. You got to be at an angle. So we can see the, like, we can see the, the evil angle. The evil, bro. Like, come on, bro. No snacks, no water? You can't even give orders to Capri Sun? Stop. You just wake up being haters. Bro said, okay, bro, come on, bro. You, <laughs> I'm not even about to repeat what you just said. Like, bro, it's like, I'm not, like, it's like, bro, like, folk can't even get snacks. You can't even get the peanut butter crackers. Hey, peanut butter crackers and chocolate milk, that's God's work. You can't even get that. So while uh, these people is over here, one, two, three, you standing there for 40 minutes, no water, no Capri, no Powerade, no Gatorade, no nothing. You just sitting there. You just sitting there for like forever. Like you some kind of peon. That's how they did us in the army. When I was in the army, they made us sit there for like 60 minutes waiting to eat lunch. They, bro, they made us sit there for 20 million years waiting to eat lunch. They about to have your grown ass who pays taxes, bills, all of that, sitting there like a motherfucking kid at Fort Benning over there. <sighs> for hours. Meanwhile, they... No snacks. No snacks. I don't even like snacks, but I would imagine somebody else might want to eat snacks. Fucking crazy. Anyways, the vote was 3-2 with the three Trump allies supporting the move. They need to get recode. And a Democratic and independent GOP appointed member of the board strongly opposing it. Calling it an added step that could delay the results, voice crack, of the presidential election in the battleground state. That's the whole point. The office of Georgia Attorney General Chris Carr, a Republican, previously warned the GOP-run board that this move would likely be unlawful because state laws don't allow local election workers to hand count ballots before the votes are officially counted. These proposed rules are not tethered to any statute and are therefore likely the precise type of impermissible legislation that agencies cannot do. Lock these people. To f I hope they do it. Some of y'all gonna be saying, no, don't let them do it. It's illegal. That's why they should do it. That's why they should do it. 
Lock. I want these motherfuckers to be locked up. They locked up. Won't let them out. No. They need to be locked up. They need to be in there with the rest of the gang members. MS-13, Bloods, Crips, Norteños, Sorena, all of that. They need to be in there with them. Because MAGA is basically a gang. So they need to be with the people they relate to. The people they know. I say let them do it. I want these people to go to jail. Nah, don't let them do it. Because then we're going to be... Bro, I'm going to be like 29 years old by the time they goddamn count these votes, bro. I'm going to be... I'm going to have kids. I'm going to have kids. I'm going to have my grandkids going to be asking me about the fucking election by the time they finish this shit. By the time they finish counting these votes, I'm going to be sending my kids to high school. I'm going to be old as hell. I won't be that old, but I'm going to be sitting there, proud father, and they still counting the votes. Carr's office also warned the board that it might be too close to the election to make these changes. So yeah, they panicking. And that judges might even block these changes because of longstanding precedents that favor maintaining the status quo on the eve of the elections. I don't believe that, like... Depending upon which judge sees this, this probably won't even be stopped. You know how these MAGA judges be, bro. There's Trump and then there's the law. The board are on substantial risk of intruding upon the General Assembly's constitutional right to legislate. When such intrusion occurs, the board rule is likely to be ruled invalid should it be challenged. Elizabeth Young, a senior attorney in Carr's office, said in the letter on Thursday, warning the board that it might be overstepping its authority. Specifically, Young said some of the proposals to expand poll watchers and adjust mail-in ballot procedures would very likely be deemed invalid if challenged in court. She also said a controversial proposal from the board to increase hand counting of ballots is not tethered to any statute and would likely be an impermissible move by the board. Like, bro, the way you sung Locked Up is suspect as hell. What? You got a problem with me singing about these people getting going to jail? Black man can't even sing on the internet without it being suspect. Bro. Like, am I wrong for wanting people who want to overthrow democracy to go to prison? I'm just saying, if you think you that, bro. This, maybe this is just like me. This is a result of me being in the army when I was younger. I can't conceive of being bold enough to like try to steal an election. That's crazy to me. Like, to be that bull where you just basically tell Uncle Sam, yeah, and what, nigga? I do what the fuck I want to do. Like, what? That's beyond my understanding. Like, I fear Uncle Sam. I just can't do it. You want to steal elections? Go ahead. But me? You got me fucked to the up. I just, I can't, bro. Like, bro. <laughs> I feel like if you go to jail for some shit like this, bro, like, th they finna take till, like, six years to even figure out if you guilty or not that's how the government do your ass like i just bro you can't compare like not only morally would i not do it but like bro there's certain shit you don't play with the government's money and the government's rules don't play with like don't play with their money and their power don't do that because if you do they're gonna lock your ass the fuck up and they and they not only will they throw away the key they're gonna throw away all the information about how long you've been in there all of that just throw it away don't throw it away. I'm just saying, bro, like, specifically, Young said some of the proposals to expand poll watchers and adjust mail-in ballot procedures would be very likely invalid, trying to come up, blah, blah, blah. Bro, Chipotle keep coming after me, bro. I don't even eat there. These, who's tried this? Anybody tried the smoked brisket yet? I ain't gonna lie, I do need to go check it out. They had the chicken al pastor before. That shit was fire. I'm gonna have to try the, the brisket. These conclusions echo concerns raised by Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger, who has previously blasted the GOP-dominated board as a mess. We're too close to the election, Raffensperger, a Republican, told CNN on Thursday. We are 50 days out before we have our election. In fact, we're really just three weeks before we start early voting, and it's just too late in the cycle. The reshaping of the election board in one of the most critical battleground states of 2024 highlights how some Republicans who cast doubt on the 2020 presidential election results have now taken on prominent roles driving election rules and in some cases overseeing elections. This is crazy. This is crazy. The fact that these, like, they're just, like, criminals and they're bold as fuck. Like, yeah, and what? Yeah, and what? 
State Election Board member Janelle King, one of the three Republican members of the state election. Janelle, she got to be black. Janelle King, she got to be black. Janelle, why you? What, what what you doing over there with MAGA? Really, it don't matter what race you are, but if you black, like, your MAGA membership got to have an expiration date. You can't just be over there forever. Ain't no way. One of the three Republican members of the state election board, Janelle King, who was praised by former President Donald Trump last month, told reporters before the meeting that the changes are necessary. Unfortunately, a few bad apples, a few miscounts here or there, a few double counts lead to an overshadowing of the great work that many of our election board offices are doing time and time again. So this is a very difficult position. Do we maintain the status quo because it's easier? Or do we make a few adjustments so that we can be better? Because apparently humans are better at counting than machines. She need to go back to school is what she need to do. Her and Trump. Talking about some make the system better. Are you dumb? A few miscounts, a few bad apples. You are the bad apples. You are. It's like when Trump be talking about crime. You're a part of the crime rate. What the fuck is you talking about? This is crazy. Biden better be getting ready for this because they bold as hell. Georgia election officials and nonpartisan voting experts warned that the new requirement could create a massive burden for already strapped county election offices and that the slower results could create space for confusion and lies. I don't know why they be putting this bullshit here. Just re reduce this to L-I-E-S, lies. And that's exactly what's going to happen is they're gonna use the whole aspect of, oh, we're counting it with our hands. Guess what we found? Fraud. They're gonna act like they found fraud because they're counting it with their hands. That's exactly why they're doing it. Well, we were the ones overseeing it ourselves and here's what we found. That's exactly what they're gonna do. Bullshit. The overwhelming number of election officials that have reached out to me have been opposed to this. State Election Board Chairman John Furvier, or Fur, I don't even know, these, bro, white people, bro, y'all be having last, bro, where do y'all be finding these last names, bro? Real talk, bro, do y'all, like, have a raffle yearly, like, y'all picking, like, <laughs> I don't know how to spell this shit. Brett Favre's last name be throwing me for a loop, that shit ain't even spelled like Favre, it's spelled Favre, and I'm like, bro, how the fuck do you even <laughs> Anyways. John Fervor, let's call him that, fuck this shit, is an independent who opposed the move said before the vote. The meeting became contentious before the vote with verbal snipping but sniping between board members and accusations from citizens attending that if Trump loses Georgia again, he might use the new hand counting rules to question the legitimacy of the results. Why are we even pretending like if it was hand counted? they would say he lost. they just say he won, even if he did. The whole point is to be able to toss out Kamala. <laughs> this is the whole point. It's to literally just drop it in the, oopsie, right in the trash. You know it, I know it, everyone knows it. You know? Everyone that I've heard from personally is against it. Democratic member Sarah Tyndall Gazal, Gazal said during an exchange with King, a lawyer for Raffensperger sent a blistering two-page letter to the state election board earlier this week warning that the new rules are impossible since many poll workers have already completed their required training. Yeah, now they about forget all that training. Now you about to learn how to count this shit by hand. Now you about to learn how to count this shit by hand. Get your shit ready. They need to make like, bro, like this is crazy. It's crazy how Donald Trump is the only reason why this is happening. There was no fraud found. Dominion was paid seven hundred million, and yet somehow we're forced to pretend with MAGA that there's a reason to hand count the votes like we're in the eighteen hundreds. What's next? Slavery? <laughs> like what's next? Slavery? Like happened, bro? They're reenacting eighteen hundreds abortion laws. They're trying to hand count votes. At this point, I, if I, bro, I, I might drive outside my house and see black folk picking stuff off the ground. That, I'm, real talk, bro. I might go outside and see white women getting shoved inside of like lockers and shit. Like, I, I really might walk outside and see a completely different century with, with MAGA, bro. 
Like, I, I can't... They, yeah, there were two companies. Dominion was one, and there was another one. I think their lawsuit never went through. I felt bad for them. I was like, damn, the fact that that never went through is crazy. But, like, bro, with MAGA, bro, we're going to go back to, re like, Red Dead Redemption 2. With these folks, we going back to Red Dead Redemption, bro. Hold up. I'm still thinking about something you said. What you mean you don't like snacks? Bro, okay. I like the peanut butter crackers, bro. They can't be too salty, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm on my white people shit. You know, not too much. Not, you know, keep the seasoning a little light on my crackers. You feel me? That, that sounds fucked up. Don't clip that. Don't clip that. That sounds bad. That sounds bad. I just said white people. Then I talked about, hey, I fuck with peanut butter crackers. What other snacks do I fuck with? Doritos are like, I fuck with Doritos, but I haven't eaten them in years, my G. What else? Ah, bro, like, I don't be eating snacks like that. Like, Cheeto Puffs are cool, but, like, you know, you be, like, one time I ate, like, a gazillion of them, and, like, my throat was, like, like, it was, bro, I woke up the next day, I thought I died. I was like, bro, what the fuck? Why, like, so I don't really be eating snacks like that. I'm not gonna lie. Hold up one sec. Nah, I don't I don't mess with hot Cheetos, bro. I'm not with that. I'm sorry. They look like they they look like poison. They just be squiggly and shit. They look like you just pull them out of the ground. I don't fuck with that. Um Yeah, I'm not a hot Cheeto type, you know what I'm saying? Um So, early voting in Georgia starts October 15th. The earliest possible date new rules could take effect if passed is October 14th, which is just 22 days before the general election. The election board was once led by Georgia Secretary of State, but after 2020, Trump fought to overturn his loss in the Peach State, pressuring Raffensperger to find the thousands of votes Trump needed to win. Raffensperger refused, and in the aftermath, the GOP-led legislature removed the secretary as a member of the board. The state election board in Georgia does not certify the results of any election, but it makes rules that guide election administrators and the local boards to certify results before they are sent up to the Secretary of State and the governor. Oh, my God. Bro, these people just can't do normal shit. They always up to bullshit, bro. Every time.